call this meeting of the Princeton City Council to order. Um, clerk, call the roll. Mayor Quirum, Council Member Swanson, Member Mabry. Here. Member Fabia. Here. Member Newman. Here. Please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our, our first order of business this evening is the um, public comment. We have public comment at the beginning of the meeting as well as at, towards the end of the meeting. Is there anyone here in the audience that needs to make a public comment? Feel free to come up to the uh, microphone and just state your name, please. Or just slide the button on top to slide it towards you. Okay. Uh, my name is Vernon Sondroth, and I am the owner of property at 440 West Railroad Avenue. How many of you are aware of the water problem down there in that area? Yeah. But yet, it's been there for years. I've been promised to get tubes for three years, and it just doesn't seem to happen. Uh, the amazing thing was, I called the mayor and left him a message on his phone. He called me back. I didn't catch the phone. He left me a message that he knew two years ago two tubes got put in. Well, one of those tubes got put in. The second one still hasn't been put in. And the head of the street department doesn't want to cut the road to put the second one in. But it's been, this past rain has been even enlightening to me. The amount of water that comes down that street. And I have pictures to, to show you and I'd like to, to show you. Do you. Is everybody aware of where my property is located? I can show you on the map. Just west of uh, Advanced Asshole. This is a picture of my latest, just finished this property. This next picture is a picture from Advanced Asphalt's driveway looking east. How much water is coming down that street? This is just in the ditch. This is a picture on my property. That's a trailer sitting there. There's 16 inches of water because it's up to the tongue. You can see that one there. It's you know much my second driveway. And here's a road picture of, of it's up to the edge of the street. That's. Uh, I think that might be train coming. No, that's not a train. I'm not sure what that road is. Uh, Here's where train is going to come through where you can see the signal lights. Uh, this is a better picture of that down there. You can see that down there, how much water is coming down through there. Uh, that's just running water and, you know, as it comes out. And these two also are kind of self-explanatory. Now, not being required by the city to do anything as far as my drive driveway, I went ahead and installed a second 15 inch tube beside the original one that was there because I knew there was a lot of water that come down this street. The amount of water even amazed me. The water was about that far above the two 15 inch tubes. You know, it just, it, it's amazing how much water comes down that street. And yet, for the water to go underneath Railroad Avenue, there's one 18 inch. And on the outlet end, Ray and I discovered this morning that it's been bent down by a tractor and mowing grass, so there's only a 12 inch opening. Now, the city did put in a second tube going under the gravel road that goes to that trailer to the north a couple years ago. That's the one tube they put in. But the water's got to get there. And nobody seems to want to do anything about it. You know, I've been patient and silent for the last three years, waiting for it to happen. Something happened to the mic. Better did. I have a feeling you can overcome it. Okay. <laughs> I think so. Anyway, it just doesn't seem to happen. I keep getting told, well... We'll, we'll have the engineer stop by and take a look at it. That was when I talked to Rachel two months ago. 
she was going to have the engineer come out and take a look at it. I haven't seen him. Uh, I don't know what happened there. So I'm a little pessimistic when people tell me, well, it's going to take place. It's, we're going to have the engineer stop by. I'm doubtful that it's just words. And I'm being told just words. Uh, and I'm a little frustrated at the inaction that's taking place. And I, that water there that you see in the pictures was within a few feet of my, about three or four feet from my back door, my west door, and the front door of the existing building. Now, I am aware of the fact that prior to me buying the property, and which I checked with the previous mayor, and he told me that tubes would be put in, that the previous occupant had four inches of water inside the building, and the water was running across the top of the street. But I can't seem to get a tube under the road. Now, with this past rain, I had thought that possibly a, a 15 inch tube might do it. There ain't no way. Ray and I were out there this morning, <laughs> it might take a 30 inch tube, or something substantial to get that water to the other side. When it was raining the other night, I looked at the, the ditch on the north side of the road. There may have been this much water in it. On my side, it was that deep. We have to do something to get that water to the other side of the road. And not next year, as the mayor said, we can't do it this year, it's not in the budget. Now, excuse me. I've been waiting for three years, and I don't think I should have to wait another. I guess that's my comments. Thank you, Vern. Well, I would say you're on the radar now. We appreciate, I believe you've had contact with a couple of the commissioners or council members as well, right, individually? I, I know I, I appreciate the opportunity to go look at it and have site visit, so I, I have a handle on it. So Rachel's working on it, I, and I'd say that uh, We'll, we'll be getting a response to you, right, Rachel? So you will get a response. I hope so because I hate to be a squeaky wheel, and that might be what I am. Because that seems the one who gets the grease. So I might have to attend every meeting to make sure it gets ample grease. That's fair. That's all our family got on the council. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have any water in my basement. Thank you, Vern. Is there anyone else for public comment? this time? Okay, we're seeing that we're going to move on now for approval of the minutes from the regular council meeting on Monday, October 2nd, 2017. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the minutes from our regular council meeting on Monday, October 2nd, 2017. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, is there any comments or discussion or corrections? Seeing none, clerk call the roll. Okay, Mabry. Aye. Fabian. Aye. All right. Thank you. Now we're going to go to uh, invoices, and I'll turn that over to City Clerk Peter Nelson. Okay. Uh, in the Department of Accounts and Finances, we have uh, bills totaling for this period $171,184.87. In the Department of Streets and Public Improvements, we have bills totaling $151,000. $226.75. In the Department of Public Safety, we have bills totaling $112,657.47. And finally, in the Department of Public Property and Utilities, we have bills totaling $996,711.87. All council members present have confirmed their reviews of all invoices and now are submitted for distribution. I make a motion that we approve the invoices as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Corrections? Rachel, I wasn't able to make, make, email you those corrections. Do you still want me to do them or do you want me to say them here? Um, go ahead. Okay. Um, under wastewater, Illinois uh, Environmental, we have them listed as five dash. We have them listed as five dash 
3-2-3, and they are under 5-3-2-1. Under electric distribution, <coughs> U.S. Postmaster, we have it listed under the 302 and then 303. Should be under electric administration. Mm -hmm. Or the number should be changed, either or. And I think it's admin, we'll get that changed. And that one we did discuss, right. the one on water treatment. Yes. Mm -hmm. that Double check here. Yes, that's it. Seeing the corrections and no additional discussion, uh, we have a motion and a second. Clerk, call roll. Mabry? Aye. Fabian? Aye. Newman? Aye. Okay, our next uh, order of business is regular business. I'll turn it over to City Clerk Peter Nelson. Okay, uh, next we have an ordinance number 0-17-021. This is the second and final reading on this ordinance authorizing the sale of personal property no longer needed by the city. This ordinance has been reviewed by all members and is submitted for disposition. I make a motion that we approve ordinance 0-17-021 authorizing the sale of personal property no longer needed by the city. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any uh, discussion or correction? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, clerk call roll. Mabry? Aye. Fabian? Aye. Newman? Aye. Next we have an ordinance, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, an ordinance, no, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, yeah, we have an ordinance. <laughs> Okay, we have ordinance 0-17-022. This is the first reading for an ordinance prohibiting the use of ground groundwater uh, within the city of Princeton for uh, or as potable water. Uh, this is uh, according to the, uh, you'll notice on the ordinance, it has an area uh, out by a, uh, an abandoned gas station that is no longer in existence and um, the EPA requires uh, ordinance to be passed. So this um, is again the first reading is uh, the all members have reviewed this ordinance and it is now submitted for disposition. I'd like to make a motion that we advance ordinance 0-17-022 to the second reading. Second. We have a motion as well as a second. Is there any uh, discussion of, or uh, changes or corrections? Seeing none, clerk call the roll. Mabry? Aye. Fabian? Aye. Newman? Aye. Next order of business is resolution R-17-035, authorizing an agreement with Azabar Audit Solutions Incorporated. Uh, this uh, ordinance has, or the resolution has been reviewed by all members and is submitted for disposition. Rachel, you want to give us just a couple minutes on this one? Not a couple minutes. Right. I make a motion that we uh, approve resolution R-17-035 authorizing uh, as of our audit solutions, Inc. Second. We have a motion and a second, and we'll get some additional sure. discussion for Rachel. So this is similar to the spyglass audit that we completed um, with the phone system. This is instead for um, all revenue the city receives from the state, as well as franchise agreements um, with any cable providers and what they do is they um, just come in and do an audit of that. They only get um, reimbursed or paid if any funds or savings are found through that. Uh, the percentage share of what they get compared to what the city gets is greater in this agreement because we're doing it combined with two other municipalities, Cambridge and Kiwani. South Peru recently did it with another municipality and I've talked to Dixon and some others that are doing it too but with this round it's Princeton, Cambridge and Kiwani and then the split will be 60-40% so we would get 60% and they would get 40% of any funds that are found if there isn't anything that's found then they don't get anything and we move forward. You think this might be the first time this has happened for the city of Princeton? Um, yeah this in depth of the audit I believe so. 
Okay, is there any further discussion? Otherwise, clerk call roll. Mabry? Aye. Fabian? Aye. Newman? Aye. Next on the agenda is resolution R-17-036. This is a resolution authorizing a farm lease agreement, a two-year farm lease agreement with Kyle and Charles Shainholz of Stewart, Illinois. This resolution has been reviewed by all members and is submitted for uh, disposition. I'd like to make a motion that we approve resolution R-17-035 authorizing an agreement, authorizing a farm lease agreement with Kyle and Charles Shainholz. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any additional comments or corrections? I'll just make a comment that these are the same individuals who have the farm lease on that property now. This is a two-year extension, and then once this expires, we'll likely go out to bid for that farm ground. And this includes all of the city's farm ground, so north of the Interstate Logistics Park. There's a section by the cemetery, and then the land out by the transfer station. And the land in the um, uh, tech park, as we call it, that's still being uh, farmed by the Princeton FFA chapter.
Um, an additional uh, new business, if I could, just for a moment. Um, is there any other new business from the council person, people? Okay. If I could, I just want to read something just briefly. Um, the uh, I'd like to take a few minutes to recognize that October is National Manufacturing Month. According to the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, there are 12,507 manufacturing firms in Illinois. Princeton is proud to call some of these firms home. Companies such as L.W. Schneider, Express Flighting, Gardner Denver, MTM Recognition, Allegiant, and Quality Coding. I was reminded of this our, of our community's presence in manufacturing this past weekend when I was visiting Kansas City, Missouri. As I toured the Presidential Library Museum uh, of Harry Truman, I could not help but notice the LCN door closers on all the exterior and interior doors of the museum. Later in the day, we toured the Hallmark Cards corporate headquarters. There too, LCN door closers were used extensively in their corporate buildings. A few years back, I was traveling in uh, Iraq, and there in the middle of the desert was a champion air compressor that we used to fill our tires for our military vehicles. An air compressor made right here in Princeton. The past couple of years, every company I mentioned has either expanded manufacturing space or distribution warehouse space. They've added new equipment lines. They've reinvested in their buildings, lobbies, grounds, and infrastructure. Uh, they've recommitted themselves to Princeton's future. We as a council sincerely appreciate all of Princeton's manufacturers, some employing just a few people, others several hundred. Every single job is important to our community's success. Please join me as we say thank you to the manufacturers of who call Princeton, Illinois home. So I'd like to give a round of applause if we could to them. Thank you for letting me read that. Um, and I could, let's see, I go back to my... Um, is there any public comment now? The second part of public comment. Okay, Chief Root? Yeah. Uh, uh, this is a, uh, a letter that I submitted this afternoon uh, to the city manager. It says, it is with sadness that I submit my letter of retirement to the city of Princeton. I have been the Chief of Police since June of 2000. During my tenure in this position, I have had the opportunity to work with many wonderful individuals, organizations, and law enforcement agencies throughout the state of Illinois. I cannot express the fulfillment having been the Chief of this great department. I want to thank all those who have contributed to my success and to those who have since passed. As the Chief, I was also involved in many organizations, both local and state, and sat on many committees. It has been indeed a career enhancement to my total of 34 years of law enforcement. Over the years, there have been many changes in policing, and I like to think that the Princeton Police Department has always been at the forefront. I will indeed miss many of those who I've worked with in all the departments. I cannot thank former Mayor Keith Kane and the City Council that hired me enough for giving me the opportunity to lead this department. I have worked with two mayors, numerous council members, as well as four city managers throughout my tenure with the city. I want to thank all of those who supported me during this time and those who became great friends. Uh, my retirement date will be effective December 31st. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, any comments? I'd like to say, if I could, obviously we're going to be wishing the Chief a farewell. Hopefully he'll come back to the December council meeting and we can do it in a formal manner with the, uh, the mayor here. Laura, would you like to comment? Mm -hmm. Chief Ruth, thank you for your ser service, your commitment to the community. You will be missed. Hector? Well, uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this one, but uh, I want to congratulate Tom. And on a personal note, he's the one that actually uh, had brought me over to the unit when we first got here uh, to work with him. So he has done a lot of things personally for me as well. Uh, the National Guard side uh, was professionally and also as a great mentor and as a friend. Thank you. Um, now my other comment was, was something uh, relating to the invoices. Um, I've been coming here for over a year now and I've always seen the expenses and occasionally I'll see the, like every quarter I'll see the revenues. Uh, what I would like to see is I would like to see per monthly basis if it's possible that all the expenses and the summary total and all the revenues that are coming in to be able to see and compare like monthly how everything is going as far as expenses versus revenues if that is possible. 
I do typically report on that monthly. It might just be the re might miss the report. It's not over there this month. It's usually the first of the month. Um, but we try to do a year-to-date revenue versus expenses. And also the other thing would be if uh, maybe you can bring in by departments to see exactly uh, how yeah, it is. It's broken up by fund typically. Yeah. I haven't seen one for a while. So yeah. We might be missing each other at the meeting. But um, it okay. typically should be there the first meeting of every month. Yeah, the, yeah. And the, it, if you go back um, to the previous council meeting, agendas on the website, you should be able to find it. Thank you, Hector. Is there any additional comments from anyone? Any additional comments from the council members? Okay. Seeing none, uh, I can start a motion to adjourn the meeting. I move that we adjourn this regular meeting and reconvene our next meeting of the city council on Monday, November sixth. 2017, 7 o'clock at City Hall. Second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Clerk call the roll. Mabry. Aye. Fabian. Aye. Newman. Aye.